Hello everybody, Morgan Lewis here again and in today's video we're going to be calculating resultant forces. Not using Pythagoras or sine, cos and tan, we're going to be using scale drawing. So you're going to need a pencil, a ruler, a protractor and a bit of paper. So we're going to be doing resultant forces of um, two and three forces using scale drawing. So get your cup of tea and glass of squash and uh, I'll see you in the video. Everybody. Um, so like we said in this video we're going to be calculating resultant force using scale drawing. So we're not using Pythagoras or Sokotoa, nothing like that. Just a scale drawing. So you are going to need a calculator. No, you're not going to need a calculator actually. A pen, pencil, and a protractor, and a bit of paper, and a ruler. Um, three examples. So the first one is an easy one. I got, pretend I'm here. That's me, say. And I got a 10 newton force pulling me this way. And I've also got a 4 newton force pulling me that way at 40 degrees. We need to work out the resultant force by scale drawing. <coughs> so, my scale is going to be 1 newton for 10 millimeters. You can pick your own scale, but pick it so it fits on the paper. So, obviously, 10 newtons is going to be 100 mil, because 10 times by 10 is 100. So, Here's my 10. I'm going to draw a line equivalent to 10 newtons, which is going to be 100 millimeters. It's meant to be straight, that one, right? So it's going to be a straight line going that way. 10 newtons, 100 millimeters. Because this line then, this 4 newtons is 40 degrees from it, you need to then make a little dotted line like that. And just with your protractor, so put your protractor in like there, like that, 40 degrees, make a little spot with your pencil, and draw that line at 40 degrees from here. So it's 40 degrees from here, so it's 40 from there. You draw this line 4 newtons, it's going to be 4 newtons, so you draw this line 40 millimetres. Draw that line up 40 millimetres at 40 degrees. So you really, you've added the 4 newtons onto the end of here, basically. So there's my 10 newtons and there's my 4 newtons coming up at 40 degrees and the resultant force you just join both of these together from there all the way up to there. And that's your resultant force. You then just measure that line with a ruler and measure the angle with a protractor. So in this case, the length of this line is 133 millimeters, which means our scale is 1 newton to 10 millimeters. <coughs> so divide that by 10 gives you 13.3 newtons at 12 degrees from the horizontal. So the resultant force of them two forces is 133 millimeters, which is the equivalent to 13.3 newtons at 12 degrees. So this line is 13.3 newtons and in here is 12 degrees. So that's the resultant force of them two forces. Okay, so all I did was I drew this line 10 and I drew this line 4 at 40 degrees and then join the line. That's number one. Number two, same type of thing. I got five newtons pulling me this way. I've also got three newtons pulling me that way at 50 degrees from there. 
So calculate the resultant by scale drawing. So same thing. Here's my scale. One newton is 10 millimeters. So there's my five. It's going horizontal straight. So I've drawn my line there. Five newtons, which is 50 millimeters. Going that way. So it's 5 newtons, which means it's going to be 5 times by 10, gives me 50 mil. And then this line here needs to be added on to the end. It's 50 degrees there. So what I've done is I've just drawn this 50 degrees up from there. So again, get your protractor, put it in there like that, put it in there, measure 50, and draw your line. So draw your line, it's going to be 3 newtons, so it's going to be 30 millimetres. Okay, so that's 3 newtons, and we're doing 1 newton per 10 millimetre. <coughs> so that gives me 30 millimetres, 30 millimetres at 50 degrees from here. Don't do from here, here, because it's in there. So I've added, I've done that line, and really I've added that line onto the end. Three. So then as before the resultant is going to be just them two joined up. So there's my resultant. Just join them up. Measure this line and measure the angle. So the angle is 37 degrees and if I measure that line it gives me 40 millimeters. Divide that by 10 I get 4 newtons. So this resultant force is 4 newtons at 37 degrees <coughs> from the horizontal. So it's that line there really. So these two forces, that 5 and that 3, I'm going to be pulled that way at 4. So that's two examples, both with two forces. This one, we've got three. Same process, same process. So I've got 6 newtons, 4 newtons, and 5 newtons. I've been pulled this way by 6, this way by 4, and that way by 5. 60 and 80. So it's 60 in there and 80 in there. I need to find the resultant force. So by scale drawing, same scale, I'm going to start off doing my 6. So there's my 6. 60 millimeters straight and then I'm going to add on really this 4 to here like that so I'm adding my 4 on 40 mil because it's 4 make sure this angle in here is 60 because that's 60 so from the horizontal get your protractor put it in there measure 60 degrees Draw a line, 40 millimetres, because it's got to be 4 newtons. So, 40 mil, or 4 centimetres, or 4 miles. As long as you're in the same units. And I'm using millimetres, so um, my voice is going today. Apologies. So I've drawn that in. There's my 4, and now... I've only got to do this 5. I'm going to add this 5 on to the end like that, really. So, it's 80 degrees from the 4. So there's my 4. Dotted line. Make sure now you put your protractor in like that. It's got to be on that line. Measure 80. Right. So it's got to be 80 degrees in there like that. So put your protractor on the line. It's got to be like that. Your protractor. Come over here, mark 80, and draw this line. Okay, don't put your protractor horizontal. It's got to be on that line. It's got to be on the line of the 40. Because 80, sorry, it's 80 degrees away, the 5 is. So once you've got the line, at the correct angle, i.e. 80. Get rid of all of that. 
right so we're going to add this line on so there's your line draw it five newtons 50 millimeters draw that line so I'm adding on this line what I'm doing really is adding the lines on to the end All right that's what I'm doing so you're adding it on so there's my six there's my four and there's my five all correct angles, correct lengths. And now to find the resultant force, you just join that up. Just join that up. Measure it. So in this case, it's 80 millimeters. And we're doing one Newton is 10 millimeters. So you can divide that by 10, which gives you eight Newtons in years 59. So this angle here is 59. So the resultant force is 8 newtons going this way at 59 degrees from the horizontal. So if you were pulled 6 and 4 and 5 that way, you would end up going this way. 8 newtons at 59 degrees from here. So just add on the lines. So last one, number 4, very similar. I've got a force pulling me this way at 7, and then pulling me that way at 4, and this way at 6. In there is 60, and in there is 100. So, resultant by scale diagram. There's my scale. There's my scale. So, I'm going to start off with that 7. Draw the 7. 70 millimeters. Draw the scale. Right, scales 1 newton is 10 millimeters. Got 7, 7 times by 10, 70 millimeters. Straight line. Then I want to add on this 4. I want to add on this 4 here. I'm going to add it on to the end, basically. There, like that. At 60 degrees. So make a dotted line, I guess, like horizontal. Measure 60. Put your protractor in there. Measure 60. Draw your line. It's got to be on the line. Right, put, put the protractor on that line. Measure 60. Draw the line. And then, at 60 degrees, draw 40 millimeters. Because we've got 4 newtons. There's got to be 40 millimeters. Draw it up. Like that. Straight. And then the last one. Really, we're going to add this 6 now onto there like that. So this 6 is going to be 60 millimeters, and it's going to be 100 from this 4. So there's my 4. Get your protractor. Stick it on that line like that. Stick it on that line. Don't put it horizontal. Don't put it like that. It's got to be on this line. Measure 100 <whistles> over here. 100. Not from here from here. 100 degrees because between the 4 and the 6 it's 100. So there's my 4. So get your protractor on that line. Measure 100 degrees. Mark a spot over there and draw a line. And then draw a line. 100 degrees. 6 newtons. 60 mil. Because it's 6 newtons. 60 mil. So draw that line like that. It should be 100 degrees from there, and it should be 60 millimeters because it's six newtons, and one newton is 10, so six is going to be 60. One, two, three. We've added that on, and then to find the resultant force, come back here, draw that line straight, measure it, and that is your resultant. Measure this, so it's 58 degrees from here, and the length of this line is 65 mil, so 65 divided by 10 gives you 6.5. So the resultant force is 6.5 um, newtons at 58 degrees from the horizontal. So the resultant force of all of them, the 7 and the 4 and the 6, is that you would be going that way, something like that, at 58 degrees. 6.5 newtons. So that's a quick video worked example on working out
resultant forces using a scale diagram. So we had um, this one was two forces from the same point. This one was two forces as well from the same point, or all right, or from the same point. Easy this way. And this one was three. So it's two forces and three forces and calculate the resultant using a scale diagram. There are mathematical ways of doing this, but this video was scale drawing, calculating resultant forces using scale drawing. So I hope that was useful. Um, practice makes perfect, so watch the video again. Um, look up some examples to do um, and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks and like my channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you again.